everybody and welcome to my channel where I play video games and attempt to recreate mild arrangements of those video games. Uh, this, in this video I'm going to be playing Vector Man. It's a old school Sega game and it's something I uh, remember playing as a kid so it's going to be fun. I'm not the best at this game but I'm going to try to get through it. If you like what you see, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it with your friends. And also, if you want to see the full gameplay, it's currently on Patreon. Other than that, let's get into it. Alright, here we go. So, everyone meet Vector Man. He's kind of like Sega's answer to Mega Man. And this is something that I think is very unique to this game, and I don't think I've seen it anywhere else, is they give you kind of the tutorial during the uh, the opening credits, more or less. You can kind of get a feel for Vector Man, what he can do. He can run, shoot, he can duck. Also, he can shoot up and at different angles. And if you see here, there's like something just off screen there. This is kind of a little Easter egg. There's like a little power up there. And if you fire this, you can shut the game down. Kind of a little fun tidbit there. But let's get into the game. Blue Sky Software. Anybody know where they're at now these days? Let's take a minute to enjoy the music. Alright, here we go. It's 2049, and Earth cities, forests, and ice cabs are fouled with toxic sludge. Jesus. Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical or bots to clean up. One powerful or bot roster oversees cleanup throughout a planet wide comm net. Tragedy strikes when an error attendants connect a salvaged nuclear bomb to roster's master circuit controls. Warhead is born. And he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression. By Warhead's decree, Orth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun, unhindered by evil mind control. He will not rest until Warhead is defeated and the Earth is free again. And there you go. There's the story. Alright. So, level one. So, I kind of remember playing this game as a kid. Um, I played it a little bit as an adult. I think I played through it all the way, like, maybe once. So, it's not going to guarantee the cleanest playthrough release. So, all these little TVs give you Easter eggs, um, power-ups, extra lives, checkpoints, but you'll, you'll see what everything does at some point. Those little orbs I'm still trying to figure out, but... Alright, let me see here. Oh, dang it. Oh jeez. Not doing the best here. So these things I'm collecting are called protons, and they go towards um, extra lives, and they just help your overall score at the end. Let's see, what's up here? 
took like a huge fall. Can I go over here? Nope, I back where I started. I hate those things keep coming back. Like, stay dead, fam. Alright. So, ducking is very helpful. Oh, jeez. Anybody else? Ah, uh, this is what I was trying to find. It's kind of weird. This, uh, second... Oh, dang it. I bet you there's an extra life up there. Uh, now it's harder to... I'll try that one more time. Damn it! I'll go one more. I think I can do it. <laughs> yeah! Alright, what's up here? Uh, just a power up. It's still cool though. Might have to, ooh, yeah, let's just keep moving. Ah, these freaking mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, dragonflies, I don't know, what do they look like to you guys? Alright, here, before I go here, this is the one stage that I'm probably the most familiar with. Because I know... Oh man. Hey, I just got an extra life. Sweet. Hey, I just got another one. Cool. So, still trying to figure out what orb gives you how many lives. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this. Um, just turned into a drill. Ooh, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit. I'm rocking. So, they ended up making two games of this. So, I'll definitely play, after I play this series, I'll definitely play the, the sequel as well. I'm even less familiar with that one. <laughs> but, oh, run out of time. Shit. I know there's like a checkpoint around here somewhere. Damn it. I'm gonna die. Shit. Yep. Ran out of time. That's alright. Explored too much. Oh, okay, cool. Just run into me, dude. Or just shoot me. That's cool, too. Alright. Let's try this again without fucking dying. And let's probably move a little faster, eh? I just thought there was a, like a time enhancer or something. Yeah. That. That increases your time. So, the blue ones are checkpoints, and then the red ones increase your time. There's something over here. Jeez. Okay, and then there's a... See if I can get this. And huh, huh, hey! I'm doing much better than the last time I tried to do this. Sweet. Now we got a little power shot. Now it's time for the boss. Oh boy. So this guy's pretty easy. Just kind of follow his pattern here. And as long as you're on the, like, 
opposite direction of where he goes, you'll always miss his bombs. And like that, he's down. So, easy enough. And another extra life. Kind of like the. Alright, guys, thank you for watching my gameplay of Vector Man. Uh, again, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, like, share it with your friends. Uh, if you want to see the full gameplay, it's currently up on my Patreon, as well as other gameplays. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.